A few moments later. To create a decent world that can give all of us equal rights and equal opportunity. In January 2022, Francis Leo Marcos, also known as Norman Mangasin, gained attention in the Philippines for his social media presence and philanthropic activities. He became known for his videos, where he claimed to help people by giving away money and assistance to those in need. His videos often went viral, and he massed a significant following on social media. However, it's important to note that controversy ushered Francis Leo Marcos. In May 2020, he was arrested by the National Bureau of Investigation (NBI) for alleged violations of the optometry law. Subsequently, he faced additional charges related to his use of fake documents and misrepresentation. These legal issues led to a decline in his popularity. It's advisable to check more recent sources. For updates on Francis, Leo Marcus's situation and any developments that may have occurred since me last update in January 2022, Francis Leo Marcos gained attention for portraying himself as a philanthropist and for claiming to help people in need through his social media videos. He would showcase various acts of charity, including giving away cash groceries, and other forms of assistance to individuals facing financial difficulties. His philanthropous forts were primarily showcased through his online platforms, where he had a substantial following. FLM claimed to provide aid to individuals affected by the COVID-19 pandemic, calamities, and other challenging circumstances. He often emphasized the importance of helping those less fortunate and encouraged his followers to do the same. However, it's essential to note that despite his claims of altruism, controversy ushered Francis Leo Marcos. The legal issues and accusations of fraudulent activities raised questions about the legitimacy of his philanthropic efforts and the sources of the funds claimed to be distributing. It's crucial to approach and form about individuals like Francis Leo Marcos with a critical mindset and verify details from reliable sources. As perceptions of public figures can be complex and may involve legal scrutiny, the Mayaman challenge associated with FLM was a social media trend that gained popularity in the Philippines. In this challenge, people were encouraged to showcase their possessions, lifestyle, and perceived wealth by creating videos or posts with the hashtag #HatchMayamanChallenge. Francis Leo Marcos was known for promoting this challenge on his social media platforms and he himself participated by sharing videos showcasing his luxurious, lifestyle, expensive belongings and philanthropic activity. The challenge may come away for individuals to flaunt their wealth or share their experiences of living a well-off life, while the challenge gained attraction and engagement. On social media, it also facilitated criticism for promoting materialism and contributing to a culture of showcasing affluence. Some argued that it may not be a healthy trend, especially considering economic disparities and the struggles faced by many in society. It's important to note that the Mayaman challenge and Francis Leo Marcus' involvement in it were part of the broader social media landscape and trends in the Philippines, and opinions about its impact may vary. Additionally, many Filipino people believe that Alam is a true philanthropist and hero.